The Royal Navy's capabilities are set to be strengthened as robot warships armed with as many as 128 missiles will join the fleet. Royal Navy turned to robot missile warships to boost firepower, the vessels would require fewer crew and can be built much quicker than existing warships. Robot warships armed with 128 missiles to boost Royal Navy firepower. The Royal Navy could soon rely on robotic missile warships to strengthen its fleet amid an ongoing recruitment crisis. Defense giant BAE Systems is set to reveal two new concept ships at a major arms show in London this week, with the aim of providing powerful new vessels that require fewer crew and can be built more quickly than existing warships. BAE Systems plans to reveal two innovative naval vessel concepts at a London defense exhibition this week. One of the designs is a new air warfare command ship that would act as a central hub, equipped with up to 128 missiles, advanced radar systems, laser weapons, and automatic cannons. The ship would also carry drones and other decoy systems, with high levels of automation to reduce the number of sailors needed on board. But it would work in conjunction with the smaller, either uncrewed or ultra-lean crewed autonomous platform that then gives extra leverage. Militaries are increasingly pursuing hybrid fleets of manned and unmanned assets to increase combat capacity while managing costs. These designs represent a potential solution for the Type 83 program, which aims to succeed the current Type 45 destroyer fleet while addressing the service's ongoing personnel shortage through advanced automation technology. The defense contractor's proposals include an air warfare command ship fitted with extensive missile arrays, laser weaponry, defensive countermeasures, automated gun systems and launchable unmanned aerial vehicles. This mothership would support up to six smaller craft known as deployed sensor effector platform. The advanced command vessel would serve as a central hub mothership for up to six smaller autonomous platforms known as deployed sensor effector platforms. The Air Warfare Command ship would be the ship that carries the main sensor capability, so the main radar, and has the command function that can identify targets and make effectors work, so missiles, and so on. The command ship would house primary radar systems and coordinate targeting decisions for the entire flotilla. The vessel concepts could run on crews of just 6 to 12 people, but could operate completely autonomously when at sea. Each of these would be able to carry 32 additional missiles and operate either with a small crew of 6 to 12 people or fully autonomously. BAE Systems said these smaller vessels could be built in just two years, far quicker than the five to six years typically needed for traditional frigates or destroyers. The concepts are being presented as part of the Defense and Security Equipment International Exhibition, Europe's largest arms fair, which is supported by the Ministry of Defense. BAE said each smaller ship would take just two years to build, and existing frigates and destroyers waddle take five to six years. BAE's proposals may influence the future of the Navy's next-generation Type 83 warship program, which is expected to replace the aging Type 45 or Daring-class destroyers. The focus on uncrewed systems comes as the Ukraine war highlights the growing role of unmanned drones on the battlefield, while crew availability issues have also forced the Royal Navy to retire some ships early. BAE Systems will unveil two concept vessels at an arms show in London this week that aim to bulk up the Navy at low cost and with minimal crewing. The designs had come from a need to bulk up the Navy more cost-effectively, so you could deliver mass much more quickly, within a probably more constrained budget, and to complement crewed platforms. Steve Hart, the head of maritime business development at BAE, said the goal was to add mass to the Royal Navy's capabilities using fewer crew and delivering it faster. This is all about delivering additional mass for the fleet using an ultra-lean crude model. It's something you could do very quickly to get additional missiles, additional underwater sensors. A maritime engineer at BA added, the Air Warfare Command ship would be the ship that carries the main sensor capability, so the main radar, and has the command function that can identify targets and make effectors work, so missiles, and so on. The push towards uncrewed and minimally crewed ships comes as the Royal Navy continues to face recruitment and staffing shortages. In June, Fleet Commander Vice Admiral Andrew Burns warned that a shortage of personnel was one of the biggest challenges currently facing the service. The vessels would require fewer crew and can be built much quicker than existing warships. Robot warships armed with 128 missiles to boost Royal Navy firepower. This is the direction future warfare is going. The push towards uncrewed and minimally crewed ships comes as the Royal Navy continues to face recruitment and staffing shortages. 
The concepts will be presented on Tuesday at the Defense and Security Equipment International Exhibition DSEI, Europe's largest defense trade show backed by the Ministry of Defense. The emphasis on unmanned systems reflects lessons from Ukraine's conflict. Autonomous drones have transformed combat operations in the region, whilst personnel availability problems have compelled the Royal Navy to decommission vessels prematurely. Militaries are increasingly pursuing hybrid fleets of manned and unmanned assets to increase combat capacity while managing costs. Lockheed Martin Skunk Works and BAE Systems Falcon Works announced at the DSAI Defense Conference in London that they will partner on the development of uncrewed autonomous air systems. The collaboration will combine their research and prototyping divisions to create modular aircraft designed for rapid deployment and multiple mission types. Company leaders said the venture aims to deliver cost-effective systems capable of rapid fielding. Lockheed Martin Skunk Works is the official name for Lockheed Martin's advanced development programs, a highly classified division responsible for pioneering research and the development of groundbreaking aircraft and exotic technologies aimed at advancing U.S. national security. The project will begin with an electronic warfare and strike platform, with designs adaptable for air, ground, sea, and cargo aircraft launches. Executives said the systems are intended to complement crewed aircraft and expand military flexibility. Company leaders said the venture aims to deliver cost-effective systems capable of rapid fielding. We're pleased to join forces with BAE Systems, combining our expertise in rapid prototyping and advanced development to deliver game-changing capabilities. Dave Holmes, managing director of BAE Systems Falconworks, said the partnership will provide disruptive capabilities that can make a real difference for defense customers facing evolving battlefield demands.